This video explains how to convert a group by object back to a pandas data frame using the Python programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the Python code. As a first step for this example, we need to import the pandas library as you can see in the first line of code. And then we need to create an example data frame as you can see in the second code box. So in these lines of code, I'm using the data frame constructor to construct an example data frame, which is called data. And then I'm printing this data frame below the code box. So as you can see, our example data frame contains eight rows and four columns, whereby the first two columns, x1 and x2, contain numeric values, and the columns group one and group two contain group and subgroup indicators. Now, let's assume that we want to calculate the mean of our data frame columns x1 and x2 by the groups group 1 and group 2. Then we can apply the code that you can see in the third code box. So in these lines of code, I'm grouping our data and then I'm printing the data object that is returned by this grouping process below the code box. So as you can see, after running these lines of code, a new output is returned. And this output contains the two columns x1 and x2 and the indices group 1 and group 2. So as you can see, the group 1 and group 2 values are not columns because the values of these two columns have been set as indices of our group by object. So if we check the class of our group by object, we can see that this is still a pandas data frame. However, the indices and the column structure of this data object might be different than you have expected. And for that reason, I want to show you how to convert this group by object back to a regular pandas data frame where the group one and group two columns are actual columns and not indices. And we can do that as you can see in the fifth code box using the reset index function. So we simply need to apply the reset index function to our grouped data set. And then we need to store this in a new data set that I'm calling data group new. And I'm also printing this new data set below the code box using the print function. So after running these lines of code, you can see that we have created a new data frame. And this data frame contains the columns group one and group two as regular columns. And you can also see that a new index has been created, which is ranging from the index position zero to the index position five. We can also check the class of our new data set once again. So as you can see, this class is still a pandas data frame. So the data type of our data object has not been changed. However, the structure has been changed as I have shown you in the previous example. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.